Mr. Speaker, on May 28, 2014, narcotics agents assisted by members of the Habersham County, Georgia, Special Response Team executed a no-knock search warrant on a home on a quiet street. Officers terrified the sleeping family but did not find any drugs when they entered the home. During the raid, a two-year-old child, Baby Boo Boo, was badly burned when the tossed a flashbang grenade into his playpen, which was located in a darkened room. The officers justified their actions by saying that their intelligence indicated that there would be no children present. Mr. Speaker, as an editorial in the Washington Post noted, quote, a flashbang grenade is an explosive device that emits a deafening boom and a blinding flash of light. It's designed to tempor temporarily stun the occupants of a building so that the armed men who deployed it can clear the building. It is an instrument of war, end quote. My amendment is simple. It would prohibit the transfer of flashbang grenades for free from Department of Defense, uh, from the Department of Defense to local law enforcement. The Department of Defense's 1033 program has helped to sometimes distort the relationship between the police and the communities they serve by allocating over $5 billion in surplus military equipment to local police, including flashbang grenades. Nothing in current law prevents the military from giving police, including school and university police departments, flashbang grenades. Allowing this loophole to exist puts our communities at risk of increasing militarization. Mr. Speaker, while we have real tensions across the country, our police and their communities are not at war. Funneling free military equipment to the police, however, helps to further deepen the divide in our communities. The same Washington Post piece I mentioned earlier cited over a dozen incidents in recent years where police injured themselves or others while using flashbang grenades. This amendment is not about regulating what types of equipment law enforcement agencies should or should not have. Instead, it is about whether this Congress should purchase flashbang grenades for fighting wars abroad and then allow these flashbang grenades to be transferred by the Department of Defense back to local law enforcement uh, agencies for use here at home. Local governments, in consultation with law enforcement agencies that they oversee, should decide what types of equipment the law enforcement agencies can acquire. Law enforcement agencies should not unilaterally make that decision independently of civilian authority. The local government can purchase whatever equipment they deem necessary for use by the agencies under their control through the local budgeting process, and they can also seek financial assistance uh, through uh, federal grants. This amendment doesn't touch grant money or state or local government's freedom to purchase the equipment they need. The local budget process and federal grant programs involve making choices based on need and funding, while the 1033 program is an unregulated pipeline of free equipment directly from the Pentagon to the law enforcement agency. When the equipment is free, is free and is plentiful, and civilian authority is not involved, the calculus is very simple. Why not accept free gifts of military equipment? However, if acquiring uh, this equipment uh, militarizes uh, beyond uh, uh, comprehension our police departments, what kind of uh, uh, community policing are we actually uh, performing, or are we just simply occupying? This amendment, uh, Mr. Uh, Speaker, uh, is very common sense. Uh, we should consider whether, whether or not we want our country to move in this direction of militarization, and we certainly need our civilian authorities to be involved in that process. And so the consequences are too dangerous to keep and con to keep um, proliferating this weaponry on our streets, and I'd ask for uh, my, uh, my colleagues to support this uh, amendment.